Unitarians and Universalists are known for our reverence of the truth, but we also revere what's important. This can be seen in our love of the classics, such as E.B. White's masterpiece, The Children's Story, Stuart Little. In the following passage, our diminutive hero is substitute teaching, filling in for Mrs. Gunderson. Stuart asks his class of students, how many of you know what's important? Up went all the hands. Very good, said Stuart, cocking one leg across the other and shoving his hands in the pockets of his jacket. Henry Rackmeyer, tell us what's important. And Henry replied, a shaft of sunlight at the end of a dark afternoon, a note in music, and the way the back of a baby's neck smells if its mother keeps it tidy. Correct, said Stuart. Those are the important things. You forgot one, though. Mary Bendix, what did Henry forget? He forgot ice cream with chocolate sauce on it, said Mary quickly. Exactly, said Stuart. Ice cream is important. And it is just that, ice cream, that I want to highlight today, or rather, the historic Unitarian Universalist connection to the creativity with which it is often enjoyed. I first discovered this connection thanks to the Reverend Laurel Hallman, Minister Emerita of our congregation in Dallas, Texas. You see, there's been some controversy about the origins of the veritable ice cream sundae. As the story goes, the good folks of Two Rivers, Wisconsin, laid claim to have invented the confection. But then another claim to the title was made by the Unitarians of Ithaca, New York, Seems their minister back in 1892, the Reverend John M. Scott, was visiting with a congregant, Charles Platt, who co-owned a pharmacy in town. On a whim, so the story goes, Platt covered dishes of ice cream with cherry syrup and candied cherries, and the cherry sundae was born. There was some controversy about which came first, the Sunday of Two Rivers, or of the Unitarians in Ithaca. But the Unitarians could claim documentation. On April 5, 1892, Platt's Pharmacy placed an ad for Cherry Sundays. Nowadays, you can look up Ice Cream Sundays in Wikipedia, where you'll read of these and two other claims for the creation of these ice cream treats. But what really matters is that from the start, we Unitarian Universalists are among those who savor the tastes of summer. And with that, I bring my story to a close and bid you adieu. There's a bowl of ice cream, a small bowl, calling my name.